Hello, my name is Helena Zhao and I attend Dulwich College, Beijing. In terms of a few benefits of entering a writing competition, I think the first would be that it is a great experience. Um, and it will also improve your writing skill. For example, some may have a uh, prompt or specific theme for you to write about, like the Hong Kong Young Writers Award, um, and that will enable you to explore various genres um, and also themes and new ideas, and that may push you out of your comfort zone, which is definitely very important. Um, and also, if you do win, that is like a major confidence booster. In terms of preparation, um, I first looked at the prompt and um, during the winter holiday, I thought about what I could potentially write about. Um, for me, I usually write when Muse comes. So when Muse is hiding, I'm like, what do I do? Um, yeah, I definitely would think, I definitely would say that at first I was a bit frustrated during the winter holiday because I was trying so hard to write, but I just feel like I couldn't squeeze any creative juices out at all. And then I realized that it was because although I knew about the Silk Roads and the Mogao Caves, um, I did not know any stories to potentially explore my um, potential narrative or themes through. Thus, I delved into research and um, thought about what I wanted the readers to feel um, particularly. Um, so I thought about the themes um, and I really wanted to touch upon generational trauma, our environment, and preserving our cultural and historical heritage. So I think my poem is just an amalgam of all those themes explored through stories um, of the Mungao Caves and also my own. Um, but I think it all happened when Muse came and visited me. Um, so yeah, definitely find your Muse. When I first heard that I was the winner, I was utterly speechless. I could not believe it, thinking, why me? Then reality sunk in and I was ecstat ecstatically jumping over the moon. Um, I received a lot of congratulations and um, kind words from my school teachers and peers. And um, as I mentioned early on, it greatly boosted my confidence in terms of um, writing and poetry, um, and this recognition also made my voice feel heard because before I thought, oh yeah, I like to write poems, that's great, but you know, maybe no one will want to read them. But then now I, you know, this actually proved me wrong because my poems, you know, maybe people will relate to it and maybe people will like it. Probably that's why I won. So, like I said, great confidence booster. Um, but the best part was definitely hearing younger students um, tell me that I have inspired them to also um, write poetry or other forms of writing and also um, compete in some writing competitions, maybe. Um, so that was definitely the best part. In regards to some tips for future students, um, I think research is definitely really important, especially if there is a major historical context behind the prompt. Um, research will also help you with finding inspiration and perhaps even muse. Um, like I mentioned, when I did research, it re I was able to explore some of the themes I wanted to touch upon through those particular stories. In regards to your writing skill, um, you can better convey your thoughts and story through literary techniques. Um, as this will immerse the reader in your story and it will also bring your writing to life. Another thing is that you can also look at past winners' works, but I personally think that what's most important is not to mimic someone else's um, style or story, but to find your voice and write from the heart. So I wish you all the best of luck and remember that if you don't even try, then that is immediately, you know, you're like cutting off the path to success because you're not even trying. So there were many times where I wanted to give up because Muse did not come to me, but then I was like, no, I'm going to try. It's not really about winning, but it's about the experience. It's about writing from your heart. So I think just find your story, find your voice, and um, just tell your story. And I'm sure people want to listen to that. So good luck.